Now let's review this figure 15-27. Uh, and now, instead of being in a Class 1 Division 1 location, we're in a Class 1 Division 2 location, and fixtures now are installed uh, in accordance with 501.130B1 and B4. Now, uh, 501.30B1, we're looking at uh, uh, permanently install uh, lighting fixtures or luminaires. And notice it's the lamp that can exceed the 80% of the ignition temperature. If it was in the Class 1 Division 1, uh, which was uh, in our figure 15-26, uh, uh, then it was the enclosure that enclosed the uh, lamp and everything that couldn't exceed the 80% of the ignition temperature uh, of the gas or vapor. So, uh, Again, we'd go to our table, 500.8C, and get the T-code letter on the uh, luminaire and match it up in the table so we'd be select a T-code letter and we'd be below that T-code letter and we wouldn't uh, exceed the ignition temperature of the gas or the vapor. Now, usually when they bring in portable lighting mounted on a movable stand with a flexible cord, most of the time, uh, the uh, facility will sniff the area and make sure that a gas mixture is not there that could mix with air in such a manner it would be in an explosive range. It'd be above the lower flammable limits on its way to being too rich, the upper flammable limits. And remember, you can get all this information about, uh, in, uh, you know, uh, the grouping, uh, the flash point, ignition temperature, density, uh, up and lower flammable limits, all your information about a particular gas or vapor or liquid can be found, in, remember, in our table 4.4.2 .4 and NFPA 497. And again, as a reminder, the NEC just lets the designer an installer know that they have a problem in a classified area, but you actually go to NFPA 497, you would look at these lighting fixtures, where are you placing them, are they new installations, are they existing installations, then you pretty well know how to really classify the area when you go through those chapters in NFPA 497 uh, that deal with uh, luminaires in a classified area. Now that's what this figure is illustrating to the user of the NEC.